And, you know, I was a, an alcoholic. Well, you're always an alcoholic. I'm sober now. But when for, did you get sober? I've tried for years, but, uh, you know, more than a year ago, you know, because I. Oh, had, like that's recently. I had a couple of public things. I don't oh, know great. You know that. Didn't know that. A couple of DUIs. Not Ooh. one. Not one. Oh. Two within six months. Like, are you kidding me? They wanted to send you one more and they send you to adult military there academy. You go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, no, it was, you know, you make mistakes. Don't drink and drive. Okay, please, ever. Uh, and, and you know, those are some failures. And then, you, you know, your kids have got to see this shit. Yeah. And it's on the news and all that stuff. And it's like, oh, God. Um, but, I, you know, I guess to say it's another wake-up call. I had been sober before that. And then just one day you slip and then you get behind the wheel. That's literally what had happened mm. both times. Uh, I, like I, slip like you had six months or a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, you have a relapse. And then yeah. I, 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 I had solid time before that first one. And then you have a day and you're like, oh, the first what was, would make you drink? Oh, I'm triggered by everything. Well, that particular one, because, you know, you talk yourself into it. One, the one was uh, I decided I want to change my sobriety date to New Year's Day. That's how dumb that type of thinking is, right? That's the alcoholic thinking. You, the alcoholic will will plan and scheme, right? And so you start planning and scheming and thinking how you're going to have that drink for what? Now, it goes back to the ADHD and the ADD because you need to suppress the thing that's going on. Like you feel a bit out of control, so you want to control it. So you typically control it with a substance, right? Like maybe I can put this in line or else I feel like it's less, whatever, racy. Um, and so, yeah, you, you make those types of decisions for that reason. When I hear you talk about the, your alcoholism, I'm uh, codependent. So Me too. my problem is what kind of standard of behavior can I hold a drug addict or an alcoholic to? Uh, sobriety is the only standard. But interpersonally. To, to their behavior? Yeah. Oh, you can't do anything. No, 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 I'm saying how should I react? I Should I react with... Compassion? Yes. Uh, yeah, you could, you could say, I see you're struggling. Do you want to talk about it? That's all you can do. They're late. They're, oh. they're and I'm not saying because they're actively drinking, they're just... It's an alcoholic behavior. Yeah, yep. the alcoholic behavior, my, it's over 25 years, I've, fig, I've, I've figured out how to do it, mm -hmm. but... It's not easy, meaning when I say it, I mean hold the alcoholic or drug addict to a standard. They hate it. They plead how it's not fair, how it's wrong, that the, you know, all the, all the alcoholics and, and, and mental illness excuses. And it's kind of like, I don't, that, I, it's kind of not my problem. It's not your problem at all. Yeah. It's their problem. It, it, if it affects your life, then it's your problem. And yeah. they're your problem. And then you have to just let them go. If, especially if it becomes uh, toxic or, you know, like that. If you hold them to a standard because you had to have a lunch date is one thing, or if um, you're they're working for you, then it's like you get uh, this third strike. You're you're done here, and I wanted to keep you on, but this uh, doesn't work. I've had to get rid of some people uh, in my life that are toxic, and it's like, oh, I've known you for almost 30 years, but you know what? You're kind of shitty, so yeah. no. Have people let you go, and you've been like, yep. I'm, sh I'm sure. I'm sure uh, there are some there are some friendships that I'm that are a mystery to me that aren't uh, continued, and I'm I've always been like what what did I do, and this goes back to possibly the impulsivity or the codependence, which is an insistence that we're friends in a certain particular way, and a lot of people are like I that's not a, a, a that's not the way I interact I have interpersonal relationships. So, but if you have this codependence, which sometimes is triggered by the ADHD, is because if you're not quite sure of yourself because of ADD, like, am I, is, this, is, that, is this out of line? Is that out of line? Then I'm checking in with you, which makes you have to then be my guardrail, which is just what you were talking about. Like, what is your responsibility to this person's crazy mind and how you have to deal with and help him navigate the water? It's like, dude, you got your own boat. Maybe you should get out of the water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that those things invade on every level too, you know. Check this this checking in this checking in type. Well, thing. it's checking in with the sick person. Yeah, for or no, it's going person. to the problem. Yeah, for the solution. Right. Although um, I will say, I have told my kids if there's one thing I would have redone, it's I never would have taken a drink. 
my life would be much different. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I'd be much happier hmm. uh, had I never done that. Happier today if you'd never drank. Yeah. But you haven't drunk in a year. Oh, I'm happy. You're right, but I'm saying. I can be with my yeah. un unbridled. Uh, yeah. Uh, You're the City. 20 lane highway. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the, you know, you're, you're, you're really limiting your, the possibility of your happiness during all those years of drinking. 50 years. For the first time, I got drunk the first time at 10. Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. went on for 50 fucking years. I didn't know, I don't recall you being a, a drunk when we worked together. Well, no, no. I mean, it was always manageable. I wouldn't be drunk at work. Yeah. No, never at work. You didn't even seem hung over. You just seemed oh, like, no. yeah. well, even, like you played a good drunk. Like we do like, look. Sure. Like, <laughs> so yeah, you never struck me as drunk, but. Um, oh, no, no, not at work, you know. No, yeah, I yeah, got yeah. it. But I, it just, you didn't look puffy or whatever. So, yeah. I so mean, there, there'd be spells. I could go, I, I would be able to go for six, eight months and not, not drink because I'd be determined like, I, this is in my way. Uh, let me let me put this down, and I'll just get straight. And but I wasn't in program. Do you have a ton of regret, missed opportunities, things like that, based around drinking? And how did you handle? How do you handle the shame and the regret? Uh, you just don't like that. You have to look past it. It's it's over. I didn't hurt anybody um, except myself. Yeah, you know, and I'm sure it's you know hurt me uh, work wise. Uh, uh, but I'm I'm sober now. And, uh, but so, yeah, and things like that, and you know, just where you could have been better or sharper or, or whatever, yeah. or, you know, there was one show I was on and it was, uh, it was when my marriage was falling apart and it was pretty obvious, like, uh, you got something going on there, big boy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, it's, you know, here's the thing. It's not, it's never going to help you. No, socially, it makes people feel less anxious. Okay. Yep. I get it. So does box breathing, <laughs> you know? So do that. Yeah, it's do that not before the you most. Go. It's hard to box breathe and catch up. I'll say that <laughs> at a party. I've tried it. I, people didn't love it. Um, uh, I'm saying before you go to the party, whatever. But you don't need to escape your present moment. What your, your your desire is to be present, and so don't run away from it. Just get there. Stay right, there. People don't know their desires to be present. No, they don't. They don't. They uh, there's just not. It's not what we're trained to do right hey did you like that did you like that yeah did you like it though you want more don't want to work would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people first of all go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh watch more clips this is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in Although i'm not really used to the green screen